Hello, my Sagittarius, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie. So we're reading for April 7th, 8th, and 9th. I tell you in my overview, no turning back, why we're a little bit on the earlier side. So please take a look at that. I also do the overview about what's going on in the skies and the heavens and what's going on. I do a reading for the world to see what's going on, what the energies are like for the world. I always tell you, though, my Sagittarius, is for you to remember that these are general readings that may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on with my Sagges for this weekend, what the energies are like. It does, you know, it just feels very... Um, I mean, things are turning, things are twirling, things are turning, things are changing. There is many directions being offered. My Sagas, you know how much I love your energies and your sense of adventure. And this is one of those times I really want you to reach down. Oh, okay. I want you to reach down and pull out that, um, that all things are possible energies, okay? I want you to... Um, Know that there is more out there, more to experience, more to just enjoy in life. Okay, so kind of, kind of want to tell you that. So Holy Spirit, what else do you want to say to our Sagittariuses? What do you want to say? Here we go. One and two. Nothing is reversed. Reverse cards to me have a little like, hey, pay attention, but. Cards that jump out of the deck also have that energy. This is kind of somebody out there needs to hear about this four of water. Now, I will let you know that if you have any Leo in you, you may, in your, you know, in your birth chart, your natal chart, you may want to take a look as the four of water came up in that reading too. So fours are about, um, you know, leadership's decisions, stability. Water is our Cancer, our Pisces, and our Scorpio. Cancer has that Mars thing going on right now. At least it's going to be, well, Mars is in Cancer right now. We are still in that full moon time, so things are, you know, very strong with that also. Um, the Four of Water is that, is that just that icky, dull, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Do I really want to go back to what I have or where I was or do I want to move forward? I, you know, I know that, you know, the four of water is that, um, is that just in between space that drives Sagittarius's or any really any of the fire signs and not many of the other signs just kind of nuts. It's like, it's a boring stop. It's a boring phase. It's a Oh, I don't care if I'm getting ready to make some changes. I just want the change now. It's just this in-between stage, and it doesn't feel... It's not... It's just like, come on, let's get things moving. Now, the Four of Water, Four of Cups, you know, you think of the um, traditional tarot where they're looking at those three cups and just kind of like, I'm really not satisfied with where I'm at, but part of it is I'm not satisfied with where I'm going. So it's really a good... This is really getting you ready to make some moves, to make some changes. Now there's this divine hand that comes up in that Four of Cups, and it's like, oh, do I want to see that? Do I want to even look at it? Am I even aware of it? I just know that I'm not happy with what this is showing me, okay? But remember, there is something right around the corner. Just all you have to do is just turn your head, my Sages, and see the opportunity. So, missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Now, being water energy, this does have a very fluid, caring, spiritual. It could also have a very romantic. It could also have a very um, just, I, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for that moment. I just, you know, I'm just waiting is the moment now. So, let's see what we've got here. Next card is the four of air. So you've got the four and four. Now the four of air is also, this also came, I think this came for Leo too, but except it came in the John Holland uh, Psychic Tarot Oracles. So you've got that four, stability, organization, leadership. You've got that air energy, Aquar Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy, thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. So this is kind of saying, I want to make a move. I, I'm, I just, I'm just ready. I'm just ready for some change. And then the four of air comes along and says, just wait it out a little bit longer. Something is going to change, but you don't necessarily have to be the one to make the change. 
Something is going to change. You have to have faith. You have to believe. You have to pray. But just wait it out a little bit longer. Wait out the situation. Don't let the, you know, you rule, you are more in charge of your emotions than don't let the, don't let the situation rule you. Just wait it out a little bit longer, my Sagittarius. Things are going to move. Things are going to change for you. Okay? This is about time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. See, you know, you, you, you're very adventurous. You're very, let's, let's get things done. I want to make, make my plans. I want to get things done. You can still make your plans. You just don't have to implement anything. Things are going to happen around you. And this is the one, this is just a word of caution for my Sages. Um, just be watchful. Just be watchful. And then when the time, again, this is all timing. This is all when the moment is right. You know, you're, you're going you're gonna to see. You're going to see clearer. Anyway, next card. The King of Water. So the king of water, now this is interesting, with especially with these two cards, because the king of water is going to tell you to trust your intuition, trust your gut, trust your heart, trust trust you, okay? Because the thing about it is, you know, part of it is that you want to jump in, you want to make some changes. Part of it is you know it's not time for you to. You let things let things evolve the way they need to evolve. Let things happen around you. You don't have to you don't have to get your you don't have to get your uh feet wet, you don't have to get your hands dirty. If there's something going on in your work, your job, um, your personal um, you know, relationships, they're gonna they're gonna do enough. You don't have to you don't have to do anything. You really don't have to do anything. So the king of water King's underlying energy is that air energy, so you've got the air again, and then you have your water energy. Kings are, you know, very, they, 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 they go after what they want, they know what they want, they're ruling energy, they're very strong energy. The king of water has gone through the, the ringer. Um, the qu king of water has gone up and down the emotional roller coaster, and yet he comes out still loving, still compassionate, he comes out still um, knowing that there is something more out of life. He does trust his higher power, whoever that is to him, and he knows that he just has to love and just keep his vibrations high, okay? So the king, so you've got this, these two cards. One is you're in between. You want, you want to make some jumps. You want to make some uh, moves. You've got the four of air saying, just let, hey, just rest a little bit. Don't, you don't have to do just anything right now. And then the king of water is like, trust your heart, trust your gut, okay? You will know when to make your move. You will know when to jump, in, you know, to jump into the water. Okay, so trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of times we mistake wishful thinking for intuition. So follow, you know, think, you know, connect, follow your intuition, and that's not necessarily wishful thinking. You'll know, you'll know. And right now, you want to make some changes. It's just not ready. It's just not the time yet. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. Caring work. Caring for others. Caring for yourself also. So you're going to know, just, you know, just really, so when, you're, when you feel like making a change, just kind of take a moment and saying, is this because of my ego? Is this because I want to make the change? Or is this because it's time? Just ask yourself. Just ask yourself. Okay, let's see. John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards. What else do you want to say to our Sagas? What else do you want to say to our Sagittariuses? So those fours, it's just interesting. Like I said, Leo had um, those two cards. Different reading, though. Definitely a different reading. So here we go. Let's see. Okay. Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to our Sagittariuses? Hope. Hope. Didn't I say this in the beginning? Hope. 17. So we have a 4417. One, new beginning. 10 is a transitional number. 7 is a divine number. It's a divine umbrella. 1 plus 7 is an 8. Un, uh, you know, unlimited opportunities, possibilities. This is the star card. This is the major arcana. This is always have hope, okay? Just keep your vibrations very, very high. You may not have to do anything. You may feel, you know, this is kind of a little depressing type of energy, like, ah, 
when, when, when. And this is don't, hey, just chill and trust your gut, trust your intuition. And like I said in the beginning, always have hope. Hope is there for you. Make a wish. Again, we have that, um, you know, the April 7th, 6th, 7th, 8th energy. New, you know, very full moon right now in Libra. So interesting, interesting. And that, we talked about that in the beginning. So the star energy, the star card, keeping vibrations high. Always have hope. Always have hope, my Sages. Anyway, let's see. Angels of Abundance, what else would you like to say? What else would you like to say for my Sagittarius's? Always have hope. Trust your intuition. You know, is it, you know, do you want, you know, you don't want to do change just for change's sake. I've done that many a time over because, you know, I'm a fire sign also. It's like, oh, I just want, the, I want something to change. Oh, I, maybe I'll make the change. No, no. It always worked out better when I let it, you know, happen the way it needed to happen. Okay, let's see what we have. For our Sagittarius's, Sagittarius's, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, that one wants to stay, but this was the one that I cut for. So we're going to take them both. Okay, let's do the one I cut for first. Here we go. First card is cooperation instead of competition. Okay. What's yours is yours, and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited um, abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperation partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Ah, what's yours is yours. Okay, let's see. This is the one that just kind of stayed there. Let's see. Detox your friendships. Woo! Maybe, maybe some of this is you're picking up a lot of uh, the darker energies from your friends or people that say they're your friends. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your association and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Kind of goes along with that, uh, keeping your vibrations high, keeping being hopeful, staying hopeful. Okay, let's see. Let's see my... Sagittarius, what else? What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Sagittarius's? What would be helpful for you? Detox your friendship, but yet cooperation instead of competition. Ah, you might have some friends that are always trying to compete with you. That's that's not all. That, I don't know. I don't think that's always a healthy thing. I mean, friendly competition is one thing, but it's very easy to turn that into something ugly. Next card, this card, here we go. <laughs> Golden or gold sheen, obsidian. All about personal power, that, that's good. Spiritual manifestation, earth healing, new experiences. All right, so my Sagittarius is, what did it all mean? You let me know, it's kind of that in between, but yet you don't really have to do anything, but then it talks about uh, detoxing friendships. All right, do me a favor. So many people, you help to support my channel, and I am so grateful, and I'm seeing, I am seeing the changes, so thank you. If we can continue, please, or if you could continue, please, to hit on the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. It does help, so thank you. Okay, so my Sagittarius is most importantly, though, this is the important part. Always know, remember that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.